There was a drone attack on the city of Toropets, Tver region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. It is said that Ukrainian drones attacked the territory of the military unit. As a result of the kamikaze drone strikes, explosions and fires occurred in ammunition warehouses. At a warehouse in Toropets in the Tver region, the Russians stored missiles for Grads and S-400s, as well as Iskanders, and they also began storing North Korean KN-23S there. It is reported that the city population living nearby is ready to evacuate. It is difficult to evacuate some of them. Local authorities have partially evacuated residents of Toropets in Russia's Tver Oblast after a mass drone attack overnight caused a large fire, Tver Oblast Governor Igor Rudinya claimed. Photos and videos shared on Russian telegram channels showed a number of explosions and a large plume of smoke, purportedly at the site of an ammunition depot in Toropets. The Kiev Independent could not immediately verify the location of the explosions. Toropets has a population of 11,000, and is situated around 470 kilometers north of the Ukrainian border and over 370 kilometers west of Moscow. A fire started as a result of drone wreckage falling while air defense forces were repelling an attack, Rudinia claimed on Telegram at 3.30 a.m. local time, adding that the situation was under control. At 4 a.m. local time, Rudinia announced the decision to partially evacuate the population from the territory where air defense is operating and the fire is being localized as air defense continued to repel a massive attack of drones in the sky above the city. The necessary measures are being taken. The situation is under control. According to state media outlet RIA Novosti, the population was being evacuated to the town of Zapadnaya Dvina, 35 kilometers southeast of Toropets. Russia's defense ministry claimed that 54 Ukrainian drones had been downed overnight, but did not mention any drones downed over Tver Oblast. According to the Russian defense ministry's 8 a.m. report, 27 drones were downed over Kursk Oblast, 16 over Bryansk Oblast, 7 over Smolensk Oblast, 3 over Belgorod Oblast, and 1 over Oryol Oblast. Kiev did not comment on Moscow's claims, but Ukraine is known to use domestically produced drones to strike targets deep inside Russia. A previous drone attack on Tver Oblast reportedly targeted a major chemical research plant. Images and videos shared by local residents on Russian telegram channels appeared to show a large explosion on June 27 near Rudkino, home to the Redkinsky plant. At the time, Rudinia only claimed that a drone was downed over Konikovsky district in Tver Oblast, the same area in which the Redkinsky plant is located. There is a huge scandal in the ranks of the Russian Occupation Army. A group of experienced drone pilots of the Russian Army was transferred to attack aircraft and thrown to certain death. Dialogue UA media outlet looked into the details of the scandal. One of those zeroed out was a drone operator, Dmitry Lysakovsky, call sign Goodwin, who was quite well known in the ranks of Z Patriots and had been fighting against Ukraine since 2014. After a quarrel with the command, he was transferred to the stormtroopers as punishment and sent one way. Having learned about this, the occupier recorded a video with a comrade accusing the commander Igor Puzik, call sign Zloy, of protecting the drug business as well as working for Washington. Goodwin and his comrades were well aware that they had been sentenced to death. Despite this, they meekly went on the assault from which they never returned. We received the task today to go into infantry formations, without explanation of the reasons, although we know them very well. Zloy, who had fallen out of love with us, being absolutely stupid, not understanding what he himself wants, a hysterical person, sent us with such a task. Many people began to notify us that we were leaving one way. We decided to go, because there is an oath, there is a homeland, there is a duty. Various things flourish under the wing of comrade Zloy. The entire command, at least the senior ones, takes a percentage from the drug trade. Their task is to make sure that we do not survive. 
Apparently, from somewhere in the Washington Regional Committee came an order to eliminate the best calculation of the UAV of the aircraft type, which regularly supplied intelligence information. All the information that we delivered is slowed down at the level of the regiment commander and the chief of staff did not go higher, so that the targets of the Ukrainian army are not destroyed. If it suddenly happens that something goes wrong with us, not that sideways, if we don't come back from there, then this recording will be proof that we were right, Goodwin said in the video with his colleague. A huge betrayal is growing in Z channels regarding the liquidation of the heroes of Novorossiya. Russian state propaganda is trying to hush up the scandal. Thus, Yuri Podolyaka demanded to stop dispersing the TSIPSO. The scandal was commented on by Ukrainian journalist and blogger Denis Kazansky. He considers this story very illustrative. Lysakovsky was an ideological person and quite effectively set up the work of the UAV, but fortunately for us, the Russian world is built on hatred and malice of everyone towards everyone, and everyone there always eats each other. His last messages are very revealing. Lysakovsky writes that the commander is sending him and Ernest on a one-way meat assault so that they die. He is sending them because they simply turned out to be inconvenient. At the same time, there is no attempt to rebel against such an order. Goodwin and Ernest claim that their regiment commander is protecting drug trafficking, but instead of shooting him in the knee, they obediently went to the slaughter and died because there is an oath and there is a homeland, he wrote.